with the National Treasury and the Council of Governors under the pact that touches on a raft of issues, the perennial delay of the funds will be a thing of the past as the county is moved in to streamline payment of pending bills and wages. This emerged at the end of a two-day workshop for governors and deputies on a public finance and human resource management in a counties in Naivasha. Let's take a look. The National Treasury shall disperse the funds due to county governments within statutory timelines. For working committees to develop position papers on how to handle, among others, the payment of salaries of the ECD teachers and the classification of development spending. The issues raised by the working committees shall also be forwarded to the IBEC for adoption. A meeting will be held between the Council of Governors and the Equalization Fund Board so that the governors can be appraised of the structures of the board, its governing regulatory framework and flow of funds to concerned counties. Excellency governors shall, within their respective counties, support the Office of the Auditor General in promoting accountability in the management of public funds. The Intergovernmental Relations Technical Committee shall ensure that all devolved functions are fully unbundled and transferred to the county governments and the attendant resources shall follow the functions.